String tokenization is one of the most essential skills to have as a C++ programmer. This would not only enable you to uh, perform any sorts of operation, any sort of operation on strings, but would most importantly allow you to extract and retrieve data from a database, from a formatted database, and put into particular data types. And so since uh, since the C++ provides us with the string stream class, we will be focusing on the string stream class. That is by including the SS stream. And so I know that C does provide us with the string tokenizer function. However, since we have the string stream in C++, I'll be doing I'll be doing performing this. Now with the string stream class, we need to step one is start by creating the string stream object and after creating the string stream object whatever string you want to perform this tokenization put inside the stream now after you have your string inside the your desired string stream then you can perform the insertion operator now this you can create a, a string called the buffer and the buffer string is going to be holding whatever um, whatever is uh, whatever extracted from the stream so we're going to be extracting from the stream and then putting into the buffer then let's see out the buffer and see the expected output now this is here the insertion operator the insertion operator is going to be terminating at a new line character or at a space character so in, if in your stream you have the word generative so imagine the cursor starting the G extracts G and uh, ER, so this is a string, then it encounters a space. As soon as it encounters a space, it would terminate. And so whatever is before the space will be inserted into the buffer. Let's now print what is... Uh, Alright, so now let's print... Oh, apologies. Um, let's now print. So we have in the buffer the generative here. Alright, so... Now, we have extracted the generative, but how do we tokenize the entire string? Extract every word from the string. So in this case, we will be creating a for loop, a while loop. And the while loop would state that while buffer, while buffer, we would see out the buffer. Ideally, in the section, you would perform whatever operation you have in the string. You may count the number of words in the number of letters in the word. However, for me, I'll be just printing on the console. Now, what does this mean? This means as long as the stream is working fine perform the extract the insert extraction from the stream insertion into the buffer as as long as the the stream is working fine you can do something else since the string stream is a normal stream that has the the operations as long as you did as the stream didn't reach the end of the of the the file and the end of the file in this case would be the end of the string so we can perform the ss into buffer then see out buffer and both of them would work As you can see, we have extracted every word from the, the string. Let's put the indel to have nice formatting. And here we go. Now this is one way. Now in the second, uh, there is another functionality for the string stream where you are able to typecast any character you have. So how do we typecast this string to an integer? You can create an integer, put what your string into X, and then extract the integer. What you can do is that the from the SS put into the integer buffer, then perform an operation on the buffer because this is an integer. Let's add in 10 and print out the final solution. And as you can see, we have ex uh, we have extracted from the stream the the integer, typecasted it into a, an integer. We have typecast the string to an integer from the stream, and we were able to successfully perform an operation on the integer. Now you have another situation. Imagine you have a file, uh, imagine you have this, and you want to tokenize and perform the, and you want to tokenize the string and perform the operation of each, of each expression. And so how do we start? We, you will be creating your string stream object, putting your string into the, the string into the stream, then you'll create um, variables respective to your format. So the variables that, the variables I'll be having is that I'll be having the operand one, and then I'll be having a char uh, operator and then I'll be having another float operate, uh, float variable for the second operand now I can do is that I can while I'll be loop while looping as long as we as long as we don't hit the end of file mark and then extracting from the string stream I first extract the 
the first operand. Then I extract the operator. After extracting operator, the second operand. You can then uh, have a switch statement and, accordi and accordingly uh, calculate the result of your expression. Now, finally, I want you to I want to show you how do we how we can retrieve uh, data from a formatted database. Here in this database, what we have we have the the date, the uh, the year, the name, his grade. He's an A student. He's a B student. He's a C student. This is the numerical grade, and this is the student ID, and this is the year of birth. And so, how can we extract tokenize this information? How can we extract this integer? How can we extract this this string? This is a char. This is a string. This is an int. So, how we can do it? We can start by for files. We need to include the f string. And before for the f stream, we need to create the f stream in because this is the input file stream and with the input file stream I'll be having the string the name of the file the name of the file is the details.txt then inside I would request to open the the file this will create the stream and then once we put the parentheses this means we are connecting the stream to the file but because this is a stream you can perform all this is a stream similar to how the string stream works and so all streams have the same characteristic. What we can do is that we can do while um, while not end of the file. We can then uh, create um, buffers for the respective um, values. So the first value will be an integer, which is the year of birth. The second will be a string. The third will be a character, so it will be char. This would be the grade, and then the then we have two uh, numerical grade, and then we have another one for the student ID. We can then ask the stream to extract first the year of birth, then we then extract the name, after name, the grade. Numerical, so we're doing them in order, and they must be in order, fa in ordered fashion. We can then see out. Uh, Before C out, I want to uh, subtract the year. I want to subtract the year by mm, nineteen thousand. Uh, so, so f we can subtract, and then we can save and run. We can quickly check for the errors. This is the forgetting a semicolon. String detail. Uh, we need to include the string class. The name is declared twice, so let's put the file name. And as you can see, we have subtracted from the the year of birth, and we were able to subtract from the year of birth just because it was an integer. While if this was a string, then you couldn't do the subtraction. Of course, when you extract data from your database, you may be able to create an object of student, if that was your case, or create a struct. And that was all for string tokenization. Uh, I have this file as well. You can, a token, you can create a stream and tokenize every word, word for word. Now, the, using the getLine function would get you the entire line from the stream. So let's open the file uh, gen.ai.txt uh, gen but instead of reading word for word uh, let's read the a line. Let's read one line. Let's keep this here. We're opening a file called gen.ai. This will open the file. Then from the file we'll say so get the line and the get line will be the stream we would need a string buffer 
and by default the delimiter of the get line is a new line character you can see out the buffer and and we have we were able to extract the every single line each line from the file other other applications of the uh, of the string stream you you will be able to count the letters in a word you can count the number of words in a file for counting the number of letters in a word your buffer will be of type char and then your char will be uh, extracting and inserting into the buffer type of string uh, buffer and then you can have an inc a counter which would be incremented that is the same for the extracting number of words instead of a char you can have a string and that was uh, that is majority of the the string tokenization applications.